This segment brought to you by Kansas Corn. Learn more at kscorn.com. What is biosecurity and how does it affect your operation? Biosecurity really comes down to preventing disease from coming onto your operation. And there are many different facets a part of biosecurity, such as biocontainment. Biocontainment is actually mitigating disease on your own premise. So there's a lot of different factors that go into that you may be doing a lot of these preventative practices that really help your operation and keeping your animals decreased risk from getting disease. When it comes to biosecurity, it's all about risk and understanding where that risk come from and where you can actually mitigate these risks. And it comes down to different practices that we do and actually understanding that animal movement, whether coming into an operation or within an operation, can increase or decrease your risk to spread disease on, on any type of operation. And what it comes down to is some of these simple strategies, things like quarantine, you know, it, that, that word Really all it means is separation and isolation of animals at risk from spreading disease to the rest of the animals on your operation or your home herd. And the biggest thing with biosecurity is protecting that home herd. And when we isolate animals, we have a bigger opportunity to manage at-risk animals and we can actually do disease diagnostics to keep certain diseases like BVD or trick or lepto, any other diseases that are out there that we can keep those off our premise. And it also gives us an opportunity to use our animal health products. We have some phenomenal vaccines that we can actually be preventative in keeping some of these diseases off our premise. Biosecurity and its importance in preventing disease, it all starts on farm. By each one of the producers taking a step and ensuring that about the biosecurity principles are being followed. That in ensures the, the health and well-being of animals on your own farm, but it also manages risk going down further into the food chain because at the end of the day we are food producers and starting on your own operation all the way to a finished product biosecurity is extremely important. To reiterate there are many different avenues that the disease can enter your premise and biosecurity is really thinking about that and managing that risk and where diseases can come from people can spread diseases to animals, equipment, tools, trucks and trailers Anything on an operation that's leaving and coming, if used incorrectly, not cleaned and maintained, sanitized properly, all these can be risks to increase disease on your own premise. In review of basic biosecurity, what it comes down to is the day-to-day -day operations and the management tools that you utilize on your own operation that help keep disease out of your premise and help keep your animals healthy. And there are a lot of these things that are common sense that we do every day and what this is, it just brings to light the importance of your day-to-day -day operations. KFRM is one of the largest farm radio stations in the nation, dedicated to informing and entertaining rural listeners from northern Oklahoma to southwestern Nebraska. You can catch KFRM in many ways. Of course, 550 on the AM dial, streaming at KFRM.com, or on your smartphone by going to the TuneIn Radio app or on Ag AM in Kansas on Tuesdays and Facebook every day of the week. KFRM, tune us in. You'll be glad you did.